Hi foodies, this is Jenny here from Jenny's Work and I have been invited to a fish fry. So I'm going to head out there and I'm going to take you on this lovely journey to this fish fry. Let us see what a fish fry is because I really don't know what a fish fry is and I don't know if you know what a fish fry is. So leave me a That's comment. Fish fry. And let's get going. Fish fry from Jenny's Work. Let's get started. Oh, yeah, forgot. Thank you so much for inviting me for this lovely fish fry. So my dear brother, I want you to let my foodies know what is a fish fry because I myself don't even know what is a fish fry. Actually, hi, my name is David. Uh, uh, a pleasure to meet the crowd. Unfortunately, we as a Caribbean community, we have a, a culture that is a little bit different from other culture where we have a thing called fish fry and oftentimes people would actually wonder what is a fish fry mm -hmm. basically fish fry is like a festivity it's bringing the community it's bringing family and friends together it's like a cookout but the only difference with a cookout and a fish fry a fish fry mainly deal with many different types of fish brown steel fish escovish fish uh um fried fish you know steamed fish grilled fish and there's different variety way of doing different different types of fish. Right. Uh, normally when you're from the community and you mention something about fish fry and mm -hmm. the community say, whoa, for real, you're having a fish fry? Automatically the community knows exactly what you're talking about. So right. therefore, how we go about doing a fish fry, we created tickets. And when we create a ticket, we put a price on that ticket. Right. And then we sell that ticket. It could be from $25 to $30, even up to $75. And that ticket actually holds a lot of different uh, menu inside of it. Uh, right. you know, delicious menu. Um, it's like an array of menu. It could be lobster, it could be fish, it could be chicken, right. it could be jerk, pork, it could be other stuff that of your preference. You basically choose what you want from what that menu. What you want from it. From so, that. do you have sides also with the fish or the shrimp or the lobsters? Of course, we have side orders. You know, mm -hmm. there's a, a, a it's a pasta, and the pasta is called rasta pasta. Oh yeah, we all know that, yeah, right, rasta, foodies? Rasta pasta actually come in two different versions. Well, it does come in chicken breast virgin you could actually do the pasta with chicken breast right. or probably if you don't want it with the chicken breast you can actually do it with the shrimp right and stuff like that so you know it's a very tasteful right uh meal and it's something that you should actually taste and it's very much filling it's right very much filling i see the sizes of the some of the lunch containers the fish fry containers foodies i am telling you we're going to take a closer look you could feed like three or four a family of three or four so david what other sides you have you have the jamaican side like the dumpling and stuff of course um along with that the side order as before we have the rasta pasta we have the uh, uh the um the festival mm -hmm. and the festival is basically dough mixed with cornmeal and you actually you know you roll it and you cut it in like you know long snake little style. sweetie style yeah you know yes. you put it in the hot oil probably for two minutes and then it cooked and then you know you let it, some people like to eat it when it's hot but it tastes much better when it's actually warm. Warm. And so, bami and all of and that bami. too? You no, know, bami is made of cassava. A lot of people, when people hear the word bami, what is bami? Bami is actually a, a food or a, a provision that was planted in the ground and it became cassava. Yucca. Mm -hmm. and aka yucca for spanish yes you know and there's so many different ways of in preparing yucca aka bami bami yeah so david i want to thank you so much for inviting me for this fish fry i cannot wait to try that lovely menu that food you have there and foodies we're going to take a look at some barbecue chicken although it's a fish fry he also have chicken on the menu because you know some people are allergic to the seafood and i want to say thank you so much to david for so thoroughly explaining everything we need to know about a fish fry and let me know what part of the world you join in from leave us a comment and let me know what type of events you have like on a weekend so david how long have you been doing this well actually We've been doing it for a while now. <laughs> you now know, that the summer is here, yeah, you do it yeah, often. Yeah, in the summertime, you want to actually, you know, create something for the community because it's something, it's something festive for the community, something that the community is looking forward actually to, um, to, to participate. Because in the summertime, it's all about festivity, it's all about fun, mm -hmm. it's all about family. Winter time, basically just work and not fun. Right. But in the summertime, it's just work and fun. Fun. So we really want to do as much as possible event as possible for the summertime. So how much times for the month you do it seeing that the summer is here? Oh, well, actually, yeah, we do it to do every month. You know, once until, a month? Yeah, once a month until okay. the ending of October when it started to get cold. You right, know, you will stop. Yeah. So how, my foodies who are new to it, who live in the environs over here, how would they get in contact with you besides seeing it on Jenny's work? Do you have an Instagram? Uh, of course. Uh, better yet, you uh, can locate us at 347 Okay. Again, 347 
four six three seven, and then uh, we'll just just you know, should you call, we'll just give you our Instagram page. So I'm going to leave that number for you, my, for you, my dear foodies. I can't wait. I'm smelling that fish and that that barbecue. I'm going to leave the number in the top where you could get in contact with David, and you can also contact me at Jenny's Walk. And remember, when you go to David, let him know where you saw it on Jenny's Walk. So David, I want to say thank you so much for this invite, and I will see you again in your next fish fry. Right, One love. Morning. Thank you. Very much. Wow. So this is the, the jerk chicken, right? Yeah, that's the So you have that jerk chicken there soaking, you said, for two days marinate? No, all 24 hours. If 20. you want to do it, longer, it's the most, most like 24 hours and it's good. Right. So these are quarters you have in here. And that cold is just, wow, yeah. lots of sizzle. I love the sound of that sizzle. So how long are you going to keep this on here? Usually how long the sizes will take to finish? It's like say, maybe an hour and a half, but I will turn it like, like every 15, 10 minutes. I'll give it a turn. Just let, not to let it cook too, because what happens? Even cooking. Jerky, yes, with jerk you want it go low and slow. Oh, yeah, so no. what is it? Oh, so you can lower the heat. Yeah. Wow, and this you don't is. Don't want all that heat so it, like it burns. Right, so right, right. Nice and let it infuse in that smoke and get. That's where you get that lovely jerk flavor, right? Exactly. Thank you so much for just letting me know all your little secrets in here. <laughs> no problem sharing, you know. Okay. So foodies, this is uh, this is the um, escovitch fish, my dear. Fry fish with escovitch uh, seasoning at the top. Mm. Yes, it is. And what else? This is a side we have. Oh, this is a rasta pasta. Next to it, this is what David was talking about. The rasta. These are the sides, my dear foodies. Let's take a look. Yeah, so we have the pasta here with the chicken just as he described for us is one of the sides that you could choose from Yes, it looks and it smells marvelous. What else you have as the sides here? So you have some pepper shrimp you see the crowd came and it already started devouring all this delicious food here and this awesome fish fry here from David. Let me talk to one of our Devoted customer here at David fish fry and let us hear what he have to say how satisfied he is with this lovely fish fry menu so hi, how are you? I'm Jenny from Jenny's Work. I'm good, fine. My name is Lloyd. How are you doing? Lloyd, I am fine. And I was so happy that I was invited for this lovely fish fry. So is this your first time to a fish fry? No. I yeah, I've gone to many fish fries but, and I'm enjoying this one though. Oh, you see, so David really told me, he said, come by, you will have great fun over here. So let me see what you chose. Okay, Put so I look. open up? Oh, we don't yeah, have to sure. open it. No, don't open I'm, it up. I'm kind of picky, so I didn't get everything, but I got um, some, mm -hmm. some uh, vegetable, it's a toss salad over there. Mm -hmm. I got some jerk chicken, it's juicy, I noticed. Wow, okay. it smells great. Yes, and then here we are with some bami and the fish, of course, escovitch. Oh, escovitch right, fish. Right, so, yeah. this, this looks marvelous. Yes, right, so is this the first time you enjoying his fish fry? Or? Yes, it is. And um, I will come back tomorrow if he has another one. <laughs> <laughs> that is so nice. And I see lovely <laughs> drinks here. Which one of the drinks are you partaking in? Well, I uh, actually, um, to be truthful, I'm not so much of a hard liquor guy, but I've been having some of the beers over there. The beer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So food is another satisfied customer here from David's mm -hmm. Fish Fry. Here uh, from Jenny's Walk. Lovely invite. And we all didn't really know much what a fish fry is. But I'm so happy that I learned what the fish fry is and i can share with you so let me know what part of the world you joining in from and what little uh occasion you have in that part of the world where you are from jenny's so foodies this is the size of the container i am telling you this could feed a family of four or three if you're a big eater well that's another story <laughs> lovely fish here lots of sides the bami the rasta pasta we have some the, um, festivals and and coleslaw potato salad my goodness green vegetables lots of stuff here you could enjoy so don't forget that number at the top and that instagram address for that next fish fry that david have here in the bronx this is jenny's walk so take a look at this foodies this is what we will call a makeshift coal pot it's a it's a rim from a tire and we have here that coal burning very nicely there and you could do fry you could do uh, as you can see there's a frying pan there where you could also do that fry fish on it or anything you want to cook on it and barbecue even on it by putting your rack on there you go lovely cold pot here foodies i'm going to dig into this i can't wait to try this lovely escovitch it's a red snapper and you know that that famous escovitch sauce that i will make it all the time for my fish there we go Using the fingers. Mmm. Divine. 
I'm getting that nice tangy taste from that the lemon, the vinegar, the hot the hot peppers, the spices. This is marvelous, and I especially love to eat my onions. Delicious. I must say thank you to David for this awesome fish fry. Something I learned today. It's absolutely delicious. And I still have my shrimp to go there and finish up. And my bami, as he said, he was explaining how to make that bami. And this here is the the festival with that Swedish flavor dough. The bami that is made from the yuca, the rasta pasta. And of course there's jerk chicken and all those other cold stuff. But this is this fits my fancy. This is just enough for me. So foodies, don't forget David Fish Fry from Jenny's Walk.